Hello, this is a short screencast just to explain background to and demonstrate the SAP Fury app analysis application, the Fury application itself, uh, that I wrote in preparation for the Bluefin uh, SAP Fury webinar a couple of weeks ago. What I did, this is the app by the way, we'll come back to this in a second, what I did was do a lot of research in the documentation. There's tons of documentation and I went through it uh, gathering all the information about each Fury app and all the different attributes of those apps, as much information as I could. I compiled it into a spreadsheet, which is here, lots of information. And then I used my uh, very old but uh, trusty sheet as JSON mechanism, which I wrote about in my own web blog here, uh, that allows me to expose Google spreadsheet data as JSON, which is really nice, uh, becomes really useful. And actually, this is what it looks like when I pull that information live from the spreadsheet um, and tell my little bit of code here to pull, uh, read that data and expose it as JSON, spit it out as JSON, this is what it looks like. So I've got a very nicely uh, consumable, uh, machine consumable version of that information in the spreadsheet. And what I did was I took that and consume that within uh, a Fury app that I built, which looks like this. The whole idea was to help me explore and help the viewers explore the breakdown of apps across the SAP product spectrum. So we can see this: the apps here, there's about 313 apps altogether, well, not about, there are 313 apps altogether right now, sort of June 2014. Uh, the documentation was actually based upon the sort of the May May delivery, uh, May 2014 delivery, and you can see that predominantly there are uh, apps in ERP. So there are 167 apps in ERP. If we take, for example, just uh, supplier relationship management, we can see that there are only a few. There they are, all of them. Um, and generally, this is using some visualization stuff from the UI5 toolkit as well as other standard responsive controls from the SAP.M library. Uh, if I just turn it back off again, we can also search for things. Let's just find all the approve apps. You can see a lot of approve apps in ERP and you can see these are um, the, the, the predominant uh, set of apps, but there's also a cross app, a generic sort of approve app here and in supply relationship management and uh, compliance, there's also approver apps. Another way of looking at the apps uh, is by type. And you can see here that there are 130 analytical, 92 transactional, and 90 fact sheet, which leaves one other, 313, which is actually sort of hybrid here. Um, and it's probably actually technically an analytical app, but it wasn't clear from the documentation. But anyway, um, there we are. there's the transactional apps, tons of them. Um, oh. Let's get rid of that approved search. Tons of transactional apps, there we go. And so on and so forth. I also looked at the component information, um, which you know, is not that useful from, a, from a, uh, a tree map perspective, but it does give me a rough feel, me as a developer, a rough feel for you know, whereabouts in the SAP uh, space these different apps are. Anyway, I can see that I'm using logos here. This is an analytical app logo. Um, in fact, if we go back to uh, product code, for example, um, we can see that that's how I'm, I'm using that as a, a statistical app. And there's also transactional, uh, sorry, statistical app, a, a, uh, a, a fact sheet app, and these are transactional apps. And now when you click on them as well, when you select one of them, it brings up a little pop-up. <laughs> showing you the, the detail. And it will also, clicking on this documentation link, send you to the right place, approved travel requests in this example, in the documentation section. So let's do that again. Uh, let's pick something random. Um, let's go to TRM and uh, ooh, transportation costs. Documentation, straight to transportation costs. So anyway, there's a little bit of an overview of the SAP Fury app analysis app that I wrote for our uh, webinar a couple of weeks ago. Thanks for watching.